actually does not have Wi-Fi yet so I'm going to a cafe for Wi-Fi because I have to edit my video Shibuya will soon arrive on track number two I have a job interview now in Japanese I'm very nervous, but I think it will turn out okay, so mm, yeah, yeah, I will go now. I'll let you know how it went afterwards. Yeah, um, crazy. I even put on makeup. Okay, see you later. First we have 7-Eleven salad, <laughs> rice ball, and my friend introduced me like to the restaurant. I went in and then she was like asking me maybe two questions and then she said, okay, when will you work? <laughs> what, what time can you come in? It's like a sushi restaurant. Okay. I'm going to try the laundry machine now because I'm not sure how it works. We will figure it out together with garlic. <laughs> I wanted to make a video on like how, why and when I moved to Japan because I get asked all the time why are you in Japan and I get asked all the time if I go to school or for work and kind of explaining how <laughs> I ended up here I moved to Tokyo by myself basically I kind of always wanted to go to Japan but during my high school years I was working a lot and I was having like in the back of my mind okay when I finish my school I would like to go abroad and then that's why I was like working so much but also simultaneously I was doing my driver's license right in germany typically you start with like 16 or 17 and by the time i finished my driver's license i had to pay like 4,000 euros and maybe it sounds a lot to you but it's like normal price for a driver's license and then kind of all my savings 
were used up by my driver's license and my dream of going to Japan was kind of crumbling down because my school was ending soon. The last year was like kind of stressful, like the final exams and stuff, so I just went working a lot without thinking about it. I was like on autopilot, like going to school, working, going to school, working. And then when I finished school, I like checked my finances and I was like, huh, maybe I can come to Japan. I knew I wasn't able to go to language school because it's like very expensive and I would have to work like one more year to like get enough money to be able to pay for language school. So I just decided to just to come here and see what happens. So I worked a few more months after finishing high school, just bought a one-way ticket, hopped on a plane, came here without a plan actually, so maybe don't do that. But my first month here I had like a volunteering job. Listen, it was the best decision of my life. It's really crazy. And also like the first month I was alone, my sister, she's traveling right now, and she said, hey, like I also want to visit Japan, like let me know where you are, I visit you. And we traveled like together, and that's where all my traveling videos came from <laughs> on my channel. During their traveling, I learned I'm not the biggest fan of traveling to so many places in a short amount of time. Also, I couldn't find a new volunteering job and I wanted to come back to Tokyo. I really fell in love with the city and all the opportunities I felt like I would have here. After this, the month of traveling, I moved to Tokyo. I made a decision and it was actually kind of hard because at that time I was in Kyoto. So I had two weeks to find the share house. It's possible if you are in Tokyo looking for a share house in Tokyo but I was not in Tokyo and I could like do some like some zoom meetings and they show me the apartment but luckily through my volunteering I had a connection someone who owned a share house reached out to him ask him please do you have a room it's really urgent and then I was so scared at the time I was kind of stressed to not find a place and having to buy like a hostel oh yeah I came here with the working holiday visa this visa I can stay here for a whole year living by myself now here i go to work i just have like an ordinary part-time job to pay for the rent i think you have to be very independent to just move abroad alone i feel like some people don't realize they can do whatever they want but i talked to some friends before i came to japan like some people they could not really believe i'm just moving to japan like how are you doing that wow how's it possible blah blah, blah. i was like you can do everything you want Especially we are coming from such a privileged part of the world, like from Europe, where they can have every life they want. Like you can just do that. Just a reminder. <laughs> like, if some people of you also aspire to move to Japan, it's really not hard. I paid 700 euros for my flight because since like the war, the prices of the flight tickets got really expensive. I didn't really know what to do after high school. There was nothing. I was interested in like for university so I felt like I have no other choice than going to Japan. People ask me a lot why Japan. Like if I'm honest I felt like owing that my teenage self there wasn't even like a debate. I wasn't even thinking about what country. I just knew okay I have to go to Japan because I was dreaming about it for so long. Like now I'm old enough to finally make my own decisions in life and not like be stuck in a school, in a house, like where you maybe don't want to be. So I figured it's the only thing I can do. It's the only choice I have is I have to do it, I have to go, I have to leave the country, I have to come here and I have to try to build a life I can enjoy. A lot of people take like a gap year to find themselves, right? I never understood what that mean. Because why would you suddenly find yourself only because you're traveling? But since I'm here, like I've completely understood. Because like when you are in your home country, your identity, your personality is defined by not only who you are, but like what are your surroundings, what you're seeing every day in school, what's your family, where do you live? Not only who you are is what defines yourself, but also what everyone else things of you when you know everyone thinks about you that specific way it's hard to change in an environment like this that has always been the same for you and once you like you break out of that go to a different country all on your own like nobody knows who you are nobody knows where you come from and you have like to reinvent yourself and decide what are you telling people who you want to be it comes automatically it filters everything out who you really want to be and even if you think you know it i feel like having an experience like this like settles it in stone even if you're sure already if you think about moving countries or 
doing a gap year, even going to school abroad, just do it. And you can always come back. People were like a little worried about me when I told them I have no plan. If something goes wrong or if I don't like it, if I will miss something, I can always go back. I wouldn't worry that much. I would just do it and then think later. <laughs> so in conclusion, I love Japan. I love the food, the culture, everything. Every day I wake up, I look outside, it's unreal. Like Japan is like, it's exactly how you imagine it. When I came here, literally I couldn't understand a word. Like my listening was so bad. I was like, huh? Hmm? Should <laughs> uh, Even like at the company, I was like not understanding what they want from me. But as soon as you like, you, you pick it up really quickly. Also, I'm working at a Japanese restaurant, so I'm using my Japanese at a restaurant, talking to customers. But other than that, I'm not really like sitting down to study because I'm working so much and editing videos and having like multiple projects going on. I really need to go back to it. I, I could pass like N5, which is not that good actually but it's enough it's enough to go around people will understand you you just have to be brave enough to speak it like don't shy away from speaking it will i go back after my working holiday visa expired um maybe but i can also see myself staying here longer i don't make plans i just see what life brings to me i guess that's all i have to say just don't be scared to dream big i guess is what i'm giving you with this video.